Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros. So a little over a week ago, we learned some new things about AMD's up and coming Zen, which is now Ryzen line of CPUs. At this event, they discussed some more key features that you most likely have already heard about if you aren't living under a rock. A 95 watt TDP and it competes with the i7-6900K. But in this video, we are going to test a couple of CPUs in real world applications to see how close they come to the 36 seconds at 150 samples that the codename Ryzen CPU was able to reach at the event using the Blender benchmark utility, which AMD was nice enough to make public for all of us to test. The competitors are an AMD FX8350, Jackson's personal rig, an Intel Core i7-5820K at 3.2GHz and 4.2GHz, and also a 5960X at 4.6GHz. Special thanks to our viewer Kellen out there for sending over his numbers from his 5960X setup to help us out with this video. His Twitter will be located in the description down below. For all those who wish to test this themselves on their own personal rigs, a link to download the files will be located in the description down below. Just make sure you have Blender and then download the file, open it up and hit render and you're good to go. So without further ado, let's jump right into the benchmarks. First up, AMD's original flagship that isn't the 9590, the 8350. With a sample set to 150, the 8350 at its stock speeds received a time of 1 minute and 35 seconds. Compared to the new top dog coming from AMD, this is a significant improvement in performance. The aging AM3 platform, while still viable to a certain degree, pretty much gets stomped on in this competition. On to the 5820K at 3.2GHz and 150 samples, we get a time of 52 seconds. My 6 core 12 thread beast gets pushed around by the Ryzen chip with a 16 second difference. Once overclocked however to 4.2GHz, we do get a time of 42 seconds which is much more viable and shows that this chip is on par with more x99 platforms. The thing is that it's very big to mention here is that the advertised TDP of the AMD chip is 95 watts compared to the 5820K or pretty much any other x99 chip for that matter with a 140 watt TDP. That is really impressive to see the efficiency coming from the red team, something that they have been the brunt of the joke about for the past few years, you know, using your AMD CPU as a house heater rather than a gaming platform. Lastly, we have the 5960X, which at 4.6 GHz we get a time of 28.9 seconds, a time that actually beats the AMD Ryzen chip. One thing to note is that the chip is running at an overclock frequency, of course, and the AMD Ryzen chip was running at only 3.2 GHz. We don't have an overclocked number yet of the Ryzen chip, but with a few simple things in mind, the 5960X, an 8-core 16-thread chip, is pretty much equivalent to the 6900K of modern day, the $1,000 chip that they compared to, and it really shows that the numbers are pretty much accurate, and I would be willing to bet if you overclock the Ryzen chip to the same frequency, they would be pretty much on par with each other. So really, the numbers that AMD has provided seem to be pretty solid and on par. I wish I had an actual 6900K to test this with, but unfortunately, I don't. But thanks to an avid viewer, we do get relatively the equivalent in performance that 6900K would be able to bring by testing a 5960X. So what does this all really mean? Blender is a demanding creative tool that does utilize your CPU very well. But again, we really won't know to a certain degree what AMD's new line of chips will be physically able to do until we actually have them in-house to toy around with. The future is bright from AMD, from what we can see at least, and coming back strong and possibly shaping up the CPU market into one that's going to be much more favorable for the most important entity, the end user. So hang on guys, this is going to be a lot of fun for us enthusiasts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you want to see more content from the Toasty Bros, be sure to hit the subscribe button and check our Twitter so you can see new updates when things go live. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace out.